Welcome to the Rice County Historical Society, one of the most remarkable treasures we have here at the Historical Society is this Plains Ledger Art in Drawing book. Um, this was made by a Kiowa Indian, Kiowa out of the um, Oklahoma area, and it was made by him while he was a prisoner at Fort Marion, Florida. You might ask yourself, why do we have a piece that was made by an Indian who whose tribe originates out of Oklahoma and who made it while he was in Florida. It's a Bishop Whipple connection. Bishop Whipple, as you may know, was a local, he was the, uh, the bishop here with the Episcopal Church here in Faribault and was well known internationally for speaking about the fair treatment of Native Americans. And not just the Dakota, of course, who he was most engaged with, both in terms of the missionary work as well as, of course, the post-1862 U.S. Dakota War, but in around the world. And he would often be gifted presents from folks from other parts of the world. Florida is where he and his wife wintered. Uh, he had some problems, rheumatism and that sort of thing, and so he actually had a home in, in the Fort Marion area and would visit the settlement there where the tribes, the young men were kept. A little bit of backstory on that. It was after the U.S.-Dakota conflict and the wars here in the Minnesota and South Dakota area that the U.S. government was eager to try something else to help with assimilation. Now, of course, we, we know better now, but at the time they thought that what was needed um, was to have the Indians begin to learn how to live the white way, the European way of farming, etc. Um, so what they did is rather than have the battles, they instead came and they captured or removed the young warriors, brought the Indians to Fort Marion, Florida, with the idea of helping them learn new ways. And one of the things that they did was they gave them these ledger books and colored pencils that were manufactured at the time. And they used the same techniques that they were using on their blankets and so on, and they drew these ledger books. This whole book has been scanned as well as another, uh, many other books scanned to make a part of the Plains Ledger Art Project run by a professor in California. And so if you're interested in learning more about this book or other books similar to it, we encourage you to go to that site.